David Stock was the composer in residence with the Seattle Symphony, and he had an idea for this single-voiced opera. And I said I love the idea and I love the story, and I wanted them to do it. A Little Miracle is a really a, a miniature opera, and uh, it's a very sentimental piece without being overdone. And I think the great deal of credit has to be given to the composer who's done such a remarkable job to make this poignant story come alive. We were an ordinary family, a father, a mother, and a daughter. It's a pretty intense piece. I mean, it's a half an hour monodrama for Mezzo and Chamber Orchestra. Basically, a Holocaust survivor story. And you have this really riveting story, very, very dramatic story, very overwrought. You may not know what you believe, then I'll tell you I was saved by a miracle. true story of a young woman who lives in the ghetto in this one room. She and her husband and her mother, they live there for four years. And in that time she has a baby and she hides in the cupboard with her daughter as her mother and husband are killed. She takes her four-year-old daughter and they make their way to this farmhouse. They knock on the door and this woman answers and doesn't even speak to them and just brings them downstairs. And they hide there and she remembers her, her mother used to sing her this Yiddish lullaby. And somehow she's reminded of her lineage and her mother's voice. And then just concludes the story with this epilogue saying, you may not believe my story, but it's true, I was saved by a song. On Friday night, I'm sure it's The idea that there can be no poetry after the Holocaust is something that we discount because a piece like this is a remembrance of the horrors of the past, but it tells a, 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 a true story that ends with a miracle which we all know to be true. These kind of miracles did happen during the Second World War. This is now my third gig with the Milken Archive, and it's exciting to, uh, to be able to record this stuff because there's so much in the Jewish tradition that we don't, we, ha we don't have on recording. When I was a kid, my grandmother, who came from Latvia, used to always lullaby me to sleep in Yiddish. So it's sort of has a personal value as well. <laughs> 